Okay, so you've seen how easy it is to add hardware into the system. You will at some point want to remove hardware from the system and replace it with newer, fresher, faster, cheaper, more dense hardware. And so I'm going to demonstrate that. You've seen how it is self-managing, how you can plug in a new system and it just begins using it in, in the cluster. And so our recommended practice for retiring hardware out of the system to, uh, to replace it is to add your new hardware first, so you're adding capacity to the system, and then to initiate the retire of the old hardware. And so I'm going to show that now through the user interface. And I'm going to take a look now at the hardware list here. We brought our new system up and we're going to we're going to now do a, a graceful removal of the old storage chassis. And the reason that you want to do this is that we've got a certain amount of protection in the cluster right now. And we want to maintain that level of protection as we move that content gracefully and we migrate it to the newer hardware in the system. And we're going to ask the system to now do that for us automatically. So I've got this new chassis up. You can see it's been up for, uh, for seven minutes now. I'm going to choose this one and I'm going to now retire this node, which will cause it to um, send its content to other, um, other drives and other nodes within the system. As an administrator, I don't have to concern myself with how to do that or even where to do that. I just simply instruct the system to do it for me automatically. And so when I ask it to retire a chassis, it depends on how quickly I need it done. I've got a couple of different options here. I've got one which is minimally disruptive to the system, meaning that it is a background process that will go through and retire the drives and move their content elsewhere. Or I could choose to go a little faster and to um, possibly impact client performance. In, in many cases, this, uh, as, as clusters are you know, larger, as there are five to 10, um, 10 chassis in the system, this really is not much of an impact. Um, in a smaller cluster um, than that, it could, it could have a, uh, a, a small noticeable impact if you are very, very busy. Okay, so at this point, it is now going through the, uh, the drives in the system and it has now issued the retiring command. And let me come back to the dashboard. And now you can see in our cluster status, which was all green previously, is now a little more interesting looking. What you're seeing here is that it's now reporting that one of the chassis in the system now has, is shown in a gray state and uh, the others remain, uh, remain green. And we're gonna, sh let's, let's dig in and get a little bit more detail there. This sunburst now shows you in detail, you can hover over and find out that chassis 172.29.3.2 is now in a, in a retiring state and all of its disk drives are in retiring state. You can see them enumerated out here. So you come over to the tabular view and you can now see that of the 80 drives that are in the system, that we have 16 that are in progress. They are currently migrating their data to other places within the, within the cluster. And that, that operation is happening in the background uh, as an administrator or as a client application that's using the system. There's nothing that needs to be changed or done there. The, the, the cluster's automatic load balancing mechanism is now sending activity to the other nodes within the system and allowing this, um, this chassis to, um, to migrate its data to elsewhere. Uh, the entire time that it's doing this, um, the data remains fully protected. So retiring is a graceful way of migrating and sending data to other sources within the cluster so that it remains fully protected during the time that you're emptying the drives that you wish to remove from the system. And so I can scroll down through this list now and I can see the different states of the hardware in here. And as expected, the 16 drives that belong to node 3.2 um, are in a retiring state. And when those finish, uh, finish sending their content to other places in the system, they will then transition into the state of retired. And so we will, um, we will fast forward and show that now. 
We now see the status has changed here on the dashboard that instead of showing gray that we now see that it is uh, black and uh, offline so that that chassis has now completed its operation of migrating the data elsewhere in the cluster while keeping it fully protected and the cluster has returned to an overall has returned to a green state. So let's take a look at the details behind that. And we can now see in the tabular view that those 16 disk drives have transitioned from retiring to a retired state. And they are now empty of all of their content. And that chassis is additionally now ch transitioned to a retired state. And so looking down through here, we can see that the drives now contain no content, you know, zero, zero megabytes uh, storage on them, and they have zero um, zero bytes of capacity at this point because that, that is a permanent state now for that for that disk volume. It has shed its it has shed its uh, content and will be taken out of the system. Okay, so we just saw that how you uh, replace a hardware node in the cluster by first adding the replacement if you if you can, that's ideal, and the, and then issuing the retire command where content is automatically migrated from the retiring hardware to the other to the other hardware within the within the cluster. I'm now going to demonstrate the uh, ability to add new uh, capacity to the system. And the adding is very similar in that you rack and stack it and turn it on and it joins the joins the cluster and I'll demonstrate that now um, by going and turning that hardware on. So my question is... Okay, so now I have powered on that new hardware and we're going to wait um, until it joins the cluster and show it on the console. You can see that it's now joined in the cluster. We now have six chassis, one of which is the retired one that we, uh, we, we previously had. And then we've got the uh, additional, uh, additional chassis that we just added uh, to expand our capacity. Yeah. So the black area was the chassis that we retired and um, we're now powering that down and it will leave the system. And so we're going to see it transition to an offline state here within the user interface. 